welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Emily. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm ever so sorry that I haven't posted in what seems like forever, but I promise I am working on it. With it being exam season coming up, I'm always looking for little hints and tips to help me along my revision journey. So when the guys at Sage Publications reached out to me and asked if I would try out their two new books, of course I said yes. So the first book that they've come out with is this Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology for Nursing Practice textbook, and it looks like this. And they've also bought out a Anatomy and Physiology colouring book, which looks like this. I do want to say as well before I get into the actual main bulk of this video that I'm not being paid for this so all of the thoughts that I share and my opinions they are all my own and they're all completely honest but yeah let's get straight into the video. The first book that I'm going to be talking about is the textbook so I'm just gonna quickly go over a few things that I thought were quite cool when I first opened the book. Within the first couple of pages of the textbook we were introduced to a hypothetical case study family um, which I thought was really really cool. I've never seen this kind of method be used in any of the textbooks but it's quite nice because when you're actually learning the content later on in the book you can refer back to um, the different members of the family. It has a nice little family tree here for you, I'll show you quickly, um, which is quite a nice visual way to see who's who and kind of what's going on. Each member of the family has their own family profile as well, so this consists of a little bit of information about each family member, their name, age, um, their housing status, their occupation, and a little bit about their general health. As you get deeper and deeper into the textbook and kind of start learning about the actual anatomy and physiology parts, uh, it often refers back to these people, which I thought was a really, really cool idea because it gives you an idea about how you'd nurse these people in practice and I just really, really liked this concept. So the contents of this book are broken down into four categories. The first being understand. This is when the authors of the book kind of go over the general learning and knowledge and really help you to understand the concepts. It then goes on to an apply section. So this is where the family members that we've just mentioned are brought into the actual learning to help you kind of understand what implications that, that piece of learning has for actual nursing practice. The third section is go deeper. So this is where the authors put in a little bit more advanced knowledge for you. So if you want, quite satisfied with just the basic knowledge and want to know a little bit more, this is absolutely perfect for you. So lastly, after each section, there is a revised page or a couple of pages and there's interactive activities that are brought into the textbook and you can kind of revise using these. For me, I found this really, really helpful because I'm one of those last minute revision crammers. I know, I know it's really bad, but I'm sure some of you guys do it too. So when you have your revision activities kind of spread throughout the textbook, it really helps you to get into the the mindset of learning, doing a little, like a little bit more and then revising and kind of going through that system which for me worked amazing. So another key part of this book that I thought was really really cool was it has this little uh, terminology page. So it looks like this and as you can see it has all of the words down one side and all of the meanings down another side. I think this will be particularly useful for the first year nurses who haven't yet been on clinical placement. So I remember in my first year I'd kind of see a word and have no idea what it meant so I thought it was really really handy to have that right at the front of the book. Similarly to the terminology page there's also an abbreviations page or a couple of pages within the front of the book that kind of breaks down all the abbreviations in nursing and believe me there is a lot so this is really helpful um, to kind of have them all in one place so as you're reading through the book later on and see uh, an abbreviation if you don't know what it means off the top of your head you can just skip to the front of the book or put a little bookmark in it so you always know where it is and uh, it will explain to you kind of what the abbreviations mean which I thought was another really cool aspect of the book. Alongside this there is also a spellings variations page so a lot of spellings can kind of be different especially depending if you're an international student or anything like that so there's also a page where it has um, different kind of spellings of terminology which I liked. So after these first couple little pages of the book, as I got further and further into the actual bulk of it, I, I really enjoyed myself, to be honest, that sounds so geeky, but I really enjoyed reading through this. The colours especially that have been used throughout the book really helped me to maintain my um, my concentration levels because my mind often wonders when I'm revising, but the colours and the visual aspects of this book really helped me to kind of enjoy what I was looking at. and. I was able to revise for a lot longer I found. So I'll just show you guys a couple of examples of what I'm talking about right now. So I've just opened this book up to a random page and I found 
um, the muscles of the thorax and abdomen uh, in lots of nice little um, kind of diagrams that are labelled beautifully and so so clear so yeah so you'll see um, that there's more oh, this book's too big to be hefting around but um, yeah you can see that there's more diagrams on here which are really really useful for you visual learners out there I know it really helps me especially because I never did biology at A-level before I came to nursing school, I kind of felt that I was lacking a little bit with my anatomy and physiology knowledge, which I'm sure you guys understand is a really fundamental part of nursing, so it's so, so important that you get it right. So I found that I'd be sitting in a lecture about anatomy and physiology, and although the lecturers were absolutely fantastic and they were ever so brilliant, I still thought that I was missing something and that I wasn't kind of grasping it as well as I should do. A lot of the time it was to do with kind of different words that I'd never been introduced to before and I don't know just general kind of things like that but I found that as I was going through these textbooks I really kind of understood it and I think the pictures and the case studies and all the things mentioned before really really helped with that so I feel a lot more confident now in my anatomy and physiology which is always always a great thing. <laughs> Another great thing about this book is when you purchase it you will also get free access to an online interactive ebook. We are now living in a society where everything is online and we're kind of moving away from paper copies and some of you guys I know that you'd much rather look at a computer or a phone or a tablet or anything like that um, compared to a book so that's really handy as well. As I travel quite a lot as well I found that the interactive ebook was absolutely perfect for my lifestyle. This book sorry my phone just went off I don't want to be carrying it around with me all the time so to have it there digitally digitally it was just was just great. So one other thing that I thought was really, really cool about this book was that students and lecturers had a huge impact on the way that this book was designed and the content of this book. So a few nursing students had feedback sessions with the publishers and helped to create it, a really student-friendly guide. I found that the contents of this book were really, really concise, which was nice because I'm sure... <laughs> that rhymed. But I'm sure that... Um, simple minds. <laughs> so I'm sure that... So, you know, someone with all that knowledge could talk about anatomy and physiology for years and create something probably like this thick. But it's nice because it's all in this one kind of, although it's quite a big textbook, it's not absolutely huge. And it really reflected the important parts of anatomy and physiology that nursing students should know. And it reflected what I was learning in university and what was going to come up in my exams and what I kind of saw in practice. So once you get to the end of the book, not only is there um, a glossary, which you'd kind of expect from a textbook, they also go on to do a little bit more. So there's a little section about chemistry, there's a little section about units and measurements, and there's also a section about descriptors of the body, which for me really helped me to understand the fundamentals of the body and how it all works. And I just found that it really brought everything together to paint this one big picture that made sense in my mind. So I really found that useful. So on the whole, I really, really enjoyed this book. I really highly rate it. And I just think it's such a useful textbook to help nursing students understand the biology of humans and, you know, kind of what they're learning. So I really enjoyed all the little features of it that I've just mentioned. And this really, really helped me in my revision and understanding. So my camera just died, so I'm really sorry if like anything's changed or looks a bit different, but oops. So overall my general thoughts on this book are really, really positive. I've been trying to think of some things that I don't like about it, but honestly, I can't really think of any. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this book. I think they've done an absolutely great job on it. And yeah, I think it's really good, especially if you've never studied biology at A-level before and just need a little bit extra help understanding your anatomy and physiology. I really like how it's nurse specific. So I'll make sure to leave all the links in the description down below where you can grab one for yourself if you are a nursing student or if you just want to brush upon your biology, I don't know, you do you. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to be talking about the associated colouring book that Sage have come out with to go with it. So it looks like this. And it's another um, anatomy and physiology for nursing students specifically. So apparently 65% of people are visual learners. So I think a lot of people would really appreciate having something like this when you're doing your revision. It really makes it easy to kind of look at everything and color it as you go along. And it really, really sticks in your mind that way, especially if you are, like I said, a visual learner. So I think making use of this textbook, you can kind of obviously do all your reading with this one first that we've just talked about. And then to consolidate it, you can go back to the coloring book and color in all the little sections and have fun whilst you're doing it. 
I think it's also really relaxing to colour as well and in such a stressful situation that exam season is it's nice to have just kind of a, a getaway where you don't feel guilty because you're still revising if that makes sense. So when you open up the book you have obviously your table of contents and here you can see that this book has all the different systems and organs within the body and then as you go along it has little colouring pages like this where it kind of tells you to colour this part of the diagram one colour, this part of the diagram another colour, and it really helps you to consolidate your earlier learning. So for each organ and system within this book, there's a little introduction just so you kind of get a reminder about what the system does and how it all works. And then there's the space to colour down below, so we think that's really, really cool. I don't know if this is going to focus for you guys, but I'll do my best. But as you can see here... There's also spaces to label the diagram as well once you've finished colouring it. So that again just helps to really lock in that knowledge that you've just learnt. So I'm not going to talk too much about this because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a colouring book with anatomy and physiology in it. But like I said, it's super, super helpful for those visual learners. And I just think it's a really great little book. It's definitely a new way of revision that I haven't tried before, but I would definitely be using it with coming up to exams. I would highly, highly recommend it for anyone who's in first year of nursing, so when anatomy and physiology is so major and, you know, they're just kind of introducing all the different systems and stuff. Um, like I said earlier, anatomy and physiology was something that I really struggled to get my head around, so I think I would have really appreciated having something like this that I can just kind of colour in as I go and kind of get to grips with it a little bit more. Overall, my general thoughts on this book are that it's a really, really cool way to revise. Uh, it's quite fun and it's quite calming as well, like I said earlier. So yeah, I think just having that option as well to revise in a different way, you might find that it really, really helps you. So definitely give it a go. But yeah, I just think it's a really like different idea. It's quite unique and I just, yeah, I'm a fan. So the retail price of this textbook is £35.99, which I think is quite reasonable considering the size of it and how useful it actually is. So the colouring book retails for, I believe it's £9.99. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how much it is. I will leave all the links in the description of where... Sorry, my housemates are making noise. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description down below on where you can purchase one of these books yourself. I just want to say as well a massive thank you to Sage Publications for sending me out these two books. I'm quite overwhelmed actually about how good these actually are. But yeah, I would highly, highly recommend you pick them up for yourself and see what you think of them. So that is it for the video, guys. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button there as well. If you guys are nursing students, how do you revise? like what techniques do you use let me know I will try my absolute best to uh, put more videos out and be more frequent with it I know I've been lacking a little bit and you guys have been asking me like when's the next video coming out so here it is I'm really sorry it's so late like I said all the links for these two textbooks will be in the description box down below so go and check those out um, but yeah for now peace